Welcome to Pal Talk every Thursday at 11 a.m. I'm Diana Felzone, and guess what? I've decided to be quite a narcissist and name a little show after myself. I told you, Mrs. McLean, it would happen in third grade, and it has. You know, who would I be? <laughs> who would I be without a really great, wonderful guest? And of course, I uh -huh. wanted to bring someone in who I respect, uphold, and not only do I think he's a terrific person, that doesn't really matter. No. I think he's a terrific word warrior, a.k.a. writer, oh. and he writes a great column for thefrisky.com, and I go to the Frisky every day. I think it's it's really where a lot of guys should, if guys want to know what women are thinking, go to the Frisky. You write a great column called... Uh, the Mind of Man. The Mind of and Man. And if you're a woman and you want to know what a guy is thinking, you can check the column out. Yeah. Every week. Yes, yes, and I do want to know what men are thinking, because I'll be honest, John. I know, what? Well, talk to me. <sighs> A lot of you are very complex. Are we? You know, in a Neanderthal kind of way. Or are you complex we're really simple? <laughs> <laughs> is it going to be one of those shows? <laughs> I think it's going to be. I think it is going to be one of those shows. But remember, this is a dating and relationship show. However, I don't want anyone to feel limited. So if you do want to talk about sports, we – no, don't do that. Um Pretty much, if you have any kinds of questions regarding your own love life, you want to know why she doesn't call back, why he doesn't call back, well, then you stumbled upon the right place because John wrote a great, 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 great article about why he doesn't call you back. And this is for women because a lot of you were like, I don't get it. I don't understand why he didn't call. I looked sexy. I acted funny. I was witty and charming. But that's not all it takes. Sometimes you tell a little bit too much information and uh, there's a... A lot going on. John, let's talk about this. I would love to talk about it, <laughs> yeah, Diana. I'll stop, Falzone. I'll stop talking. No, I'm I am I I could listen to you all day. By the way, I just yeah. want to put a what? a little side note out there for What's everyone. That? When I wear these headphones, I not only feel more professional, but I feel like a sexy operator. <laughs> yeah, right. No, if anyone has any cell phone issues, we can help you with it right now. Well, uh <laughs> you, you want to talk about why he doesn't call me? I want to talk about I'm going to talk about why he doesn't call back. <laughs> yes. Okay, well, uh, he doesn't call back because he doesn't want to talk to you. That's really rude. Well, well, well look, he doesn't want to talk to you, but there could be a, a lot of reasons why he doesn't want to talk to you. He's flaky. He's busy. Okay. Um, Just because he doesn't call back doesn't mean he hates you, that, that you're a fat walrus. That, that uh, that's a sheet. That's my grandpa used to say to me a lot in my childhood, and it works. I, I, John, okay. Diana. He doesn't call back because he's busy. Because Who's he doesn't want to talk to you. No, no, no. Okay? <laughs> I have to say something out there because, honestly, that's ridiculous. You know who's busy? Barack Obama is busy. Okay? He's busy. A CIA agent is busy. But a man who maybe is in or out of work is not too busy to call you back. Okay? Barack Obama makes time for his wife and his two kids, and he got a dog. Yet the guy that you went out with to brunch who just got fired from Merrill Lynch is too busy to call you back. He doesn't call you back because he doesn't want to. Just uh, It's not an affront to your ego. It's not all about the woman. There are a multitude of reasons why he doesn't immediately call you back. Maybe women should, like, chill out. What do you mean, chill out? <laughs> Are you going to hit me at any point? It could happen. No, I put a Xanax in the cereal today. <laughs> I won't hit you. Uh, uh, well, look, women accuse guys of not calling back. Maybe women call back too much. Maybe you're too communicative. Guys, you know, we – it's like, you know, maybe it's not about us not calling you back. Maybe it's about you wanting us to call you all the time and text you and let you know every minute of the day that we're thinking about you. But in the beginning of a courting relationship, I mean, I don't courting? want uh, – yes, a, right. a courting relationship. I like to keep things chivalrous, okay? Mm -hmm. Thank you. No, I, That's how I refer to my suitors, too. <laughs> That's why I'm, I'm chivalrous, too. When I go on a date, I wear a sword. Oh, well, to protect them from the dragons. Yes, you got to protect the woman from <laughs> the dragons. Or the bloods or the crypts. Um, but for those of you out there, I want to I wanna kind of delve into the male mind a little bit too. I want to know why you don't call women back. And on the flip side, I want to know from the girls out there why you think it is that men don't call you back. I think right. I answered it. No, not entirely. Raise those hands. <laughs> Raise those pal talk hands because we do want to talk about this. And if you don't have a microphone, that's okay. John and I would love to hear from you directly. But if not, great, Alan. Alan is uh, is call screening. So 
That's very exciting. Go, Alan. Go, Alan. I thought that you'd be a little bit more, uh, you know, PO'd. PO'd about men not calling back? Right. I mean... What am I supposed to do, John? (laughs) I mean, (laughs) the guy doesn't call back, you know? Does it really annoy women that much? Yes. I mean... Are you kidding? If a guy does not... Okay. Like, if a guy doesn't call you back in a week... If he doesn't call back in a week... But if he doesn't call back the next day or within 48 hours or... (laughs) Can I finish before you, like, shake your head no? You got to some call back in 48 hours. Then, you know, chill on it, yo. Okay. If you're, da- okay, if you're on a first date, though, <laughs> and it went swimmingly well. <laughs> okay, swimmingly well. And a girl texts back and says, I had a great time and arrived home safely. And if he doesn't respond for 48 hours, I'm thinking, great date that was up here. Crash and burn. <laughs> that was an amazing visualization of your point. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I always wanted to go to art school. Um, okay, well, the post-date text is a given. That's different from, you know, the callback or the next text. Like, that's a given. You have to do that. You have to. Right, but that's not a comment. That's, you know, had a great time right after the date. Everyone has to do that. That's 2009. But, like, if he doesn't call you back the next day or the day after that, yes, it's just a date, you know? It doesn't mean... If he hasn't called you back in 48 hours, it's not, like, a criticism of you as a human yes, being. Yes, it is. It's a criticism of you. It is not a criticism. You. Criticism it of... is. It is. When, <laughs> when someone does not call you back after 48 hours of going on a great date, it makes you feel like you're... Your chopped liver. You're not important. What do they have to do I in 48 hours? Liver. No, a but if cracker. You... The last time I had chopped liver is at my grandfather's funeral. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know that chopped liver made 